Welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking. Today what I'm going to show you is one of my favorite recipes, so let's get started. Welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking, and today what I'm going to show you is another way that I make my sauce. I make it so many different ways, and I felt like spaghetti and meatballs today, so let's get started. This is the oregano from out in my yard. So I'll clean it off and cut it up. And these are the onions that I bought from the store. And I saved the bottoms. And I replanted them. You can see the dirt. Look at how nice and big that is. So what I'll do is clean it off, trim off the roots a little bit, and replant it. This one grew together. So I'll show you what I do. I just cut about right there. Then I'll cut it off and then replant it. So now that I cleaned it and cut off the extra root, I'll cut it about right here and then just place this back into the ground and just leave this part exposed. See how nice and big this one grew? So I'll do the same here. See that's all you need. Just a little bit. There's still dirt there. and then I'll replant them. So today I'm making spaghetti and meatballs. So in my pot I put two of my canned tomato sauce in the pot. I have a half a green pepper and I picked four green onions from out in my garden. I sauteed them both with a little bit of garlic. Just put them in the pot here. I put some fresh oregano It was about maybe a tablespoon of fresh oregano. Then I had some Italian seasoning, so I placed some of that in my pot, probably about a teaspoon of that, mixed it all together. Now I have my oven on 350. For my meatballs, I have two pounds of the Zacon ground beef, along with some breadcrumbs about a cup, one egg, one cubanella pepper chopped up, some garlic, and along with the breadcrumbs I also put some Romano cheese in here too. I mixed it all together, made them into meatballs. So now I'll place them in my oven. My oven is set at 350. I want to brown the meatballs on both sides. Once it's brown then I'll place it in my sauce and let them cook for the rest of the afternoon. I usually have my sauce simmering on top of my stove for about three hours because I like the sauce to absorb right into the meatballs. So into the oven they go. Now I'll check on my meatballs, see how they're doing in the oven. Oh yeah. Look at how good that looks. Now that they're nice and brown, I'll turn my oven off. Don't these meatballs look good? So now I'll take them and place them in my sauce. They come right off the baking dish. And like I said, I let them simmer in my sauce for about three hours. I want to make sure that the meatballs are fully cooked inside and that the sauce is really absorbed inside the meatballs. I'll gently submerge them in the sauce. I don't want to break them. You can hear my alarms going off.
Last one. And you can use the pasta of your choice. So I'll put my lid on. Really smells good. My pasta is all done, so I mixed a little bit of sauce with it so the noodles don't stick together. I'll put a little on my plate. Put the lid back on. Pour just a little bit more sauce and a meatball on top. Put the lid back on. Looks good, doesn't it? So now I'll place a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. That looks really good. I'll place some Parmesan Romano cheese on top. That's perfect. Mix the sauce into the pasta. Get that cheese. Give it a try. Mm. This is so good. Cut the meatball. Take a little bit of the meatball. I have some of the sauce on it. So now I'll give it a try. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Really good. Deserves a second bite. Mm -mm -mm. Super, super good. Enjoy. Well, thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of Cheryl's Home Cooking. I'll see you guys next video. Enjoy. Well, thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of Cheryl's Home Cooking. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next video. Bye-bye.